Hello friends, this is Carrie the Desert Mermaid. I live in Las Vegas, I'm from Buffalo. I cheer for the Bills. I like the Golden Knights, but I still, Sabres are still my first team. I'm a reseller, a thrifter, whatever else you want. <laughs> Silly person, I do, I'm that as well. Um, I am crazy um, with stuff. I like to shop apparently. So I am today I'm going to show you some finds from the last few weeks as well as I have a few boxes that it took me a bit to get opened. So I don't know what's in them, but let's find out together, okay? Okay. So again, last weekend, Sunny and I did the Broadacre Swap Meet which is a great place for thrifting. You get really good deals there. You never know what you're gonna find. There's so many different vendors. So we did it last week and we were, the we were the sellers last week, which was very fun. The good thing about it for me, I brought uh, as much stuff as I could get done in a week. And I, unfortunately my table looked like one of those mishmash messy tables. So either you like the neat tables and you dig through, or you like the junky tables and find the treasures. So this was the junky find the treasure table. So I had all kinds of stuff on that table. On Sunday, we were there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And on Sunday, I knew what I was my I knew what my plan was. This was my plan. Anything I brought there was not coming home with me. It had to go. So about 10:30. I started dollar table day and got as much stuff sold on that table for a dollar as I could. Just that one table, not the other tables, because I didn't want anybody to confuse Sonny's stuff with mine. I wanted him to make whatever money he was looking for. I just wanted to get that table gone. Those were all things that either I've tried to sell before or I just, you know, so tell me, if you're a reseller, do you just sometimes get sick of your stuff, right? And I'm like, instead of taking it to Goodwill and dropping it off, I'll sell it for a dollar. I don't care. So that's what I did. I brought those items. And then at the end of the day, like actually we did dollar. I did dollar for a few hours and then free. I'm like, free, come and get it. Anything on this table is yours for free. Take it away. Less for me to bring home. Then I boxed up what was left of my stuff and I was able to distribute it to the permanent um, booth holders at Broad Acres. So I got to give them some stuff for free, which was good for both of us. They make money off of stuff they didn't pay a nickel for. I didn't have to bring stuff home. Boop, boop, bonus. But of course, while I was there, and you asked the question, Care, did you make money at this thing? Well, the thing is, <laughs> when you're in a swap meet, who's not looking around to try to find something else for themselves to sell? So I did make some money. I got all my money back that I put, because I always bring like money for change and everything. And I had all of that 100% back. And I brought home about $30 above. So I put most of the money in the bank and then I actually saved some change because Sonny and I are going to do it again. We're going to do it the next few months, which will be fabulous because man, I've already started my boxes for next month. I figured this way I'll be able to collect a really good amount of items and we've got a few friends that have tables that we can borrow because our, we needed more tables and we might get a bigger spot next time. We had a spot that was at the end of a row and unfortunately people couldn't see us because we were kind of dented in a little back off the main row. So we're hoping next time we're gonna do better. And we also now know the hours. Like we were given like what the hours of the um, swap meet were but most of the dealers that are there, they're like, we don't get here till 8.30 in the morning. We're there at six. They're like, we don't get here till 8.30. So 8.30 and they're like, we leave at 2.30. And I'm just like, we're, we thought we had to stay till five. 
Friday night, we were there 4 to 11. We ended up leaving at 9 because nobody was there. Well, there were people there, but they weren't coming to our booth. We have to find a better location for next time. So we know all the things now, and next time we're going to be way better prepared. And again, right here behind this camera, I got my boxes started for next month. So on that note... When I'm at the spot meet, spending the money I made. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. <sighs> Let me show you what I got. Now, we on Sunday, the lovely Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas came to visit us. And her and I did a little tiny bit of thrifting together. I wanted to introduce her to our good friend, um, Mercedes. So... These are a few things that I got from Mercedes. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, so, just a little picture frame. This was like a dollar or something, right? But these nicer frames like this. So, in one of my Halloween sales, I actually had some of these frames. And someone took vintage pictures of Halloween and put them inside the frame. And they sold like that. So I'm thinking I'm going to take this frame and I'm going to get some prints of vintage Christmas and sell these for Christmas. So that was my purpose in getting these really beautiful, nice frames, right? I love these kind of frames. This is the other one I got. Beautiful, right? This one has all these little blue, um, oh, it's all multicolor whole bunch of different colored stones very pretty so I'm going to be on the lookout for these and then I just got to do some nice printing of vintage um, Christmas holiday scenes maybe New Year's too I can't wait so that's my plan for these pretty babies Clunk. I also got this <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Look at this. It's just like a wall hanging or it's the front of a pillow. Like somebody could absolutely 100% add something to the back of it. But this is, I love this. What work this person did. Look at the work. Look at the face. The chicken's gobbler thing on the jigabob. Just adorable. So I got that. And then she always pulls like a few items aside for us because she knows us and kind of knows the things that we like. So for me, this is beautiful and heavy. Ironwood conch. Isn't that amazing? Just beautiful. These are the things, though, that I have a hard time selling because I like them for myself. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this pretty little conch over here. You sit right there, my friend. The wood is gorgeous. The wood is gorgeous. And a smaller one. Same thing. Same ironwood so nice and heavy wow just beautiful so that and then I had a perfume bottle that needs the puffer so she just threw this in for me which I'm like okay I will take that in a second and then this pretty bowl it's another one of the dark amethyst with the seashell. Yeah, it's sat in there better. Anyway, he goes inside there. Pretty cute. Okay, it's, it's moving around now. You're moving around too much, sir. Let's put you down. Anyway, that's what I got from her. Then... I got this, again, my lovely, lovely, lovely friends, 
two guys and a gal. Oh no, this is something else. This is something else. Wait till you, this is something really cool. I think, I think you guys are going to love it. These guys had like hardly anybody in their sale. This was another person that I rated. They had hardly anyone in their sale. I did pay up a little bit for this, but let's see. We're going to take a peek. I hope it's as beautiful as I think it is. So this woman creates garden flowers from dishes. And I bought one. This will be nice to go outside. I tried to get like, she had a whole bunch with like all this beautiful china. And I'm like, you know what, I, I do enjoy the beautiful patterns and things, but that's not my personal style. So I can appreciate, let's say that. This is kind of more my style. I'll show you. And very smart. She told me like some things that I didn't know like when you do this. Look at that. Isn't this amazing? This handkerchief little thing. And then there's like a small like a um, votive candle in there. The regular bowl. And then she uses a spice jar for it to go on like a piece of pipe or like you get like a um whatever the name of that pipe is that I can't think of but what do you think of that isn't that pretty cool so that's gonna go in my garden <laughs> I love it I love it I love it love it so if you are a fan oh I think I threw her name oh no here it is if you're a fan of garden art like that, her name is Sarah's Secret Gardens. She's on Whatnot. Sarah's Secret Gardens. And she has a bunch of these. A bunch. This just happened to be my personal favorite. Because I love that clear and that orangey glass together. Gorgeous. Okay. Let's see what we've got next. So, I went with my lovely friend, Sunny. Um, we went for lunch at a Texas barbecue place over here, not too far from my house. And uh, we had some delicious barbecue. It was a belated birthday lunch for him. So I got him lunch. And then I'm like, hey, since you're in my neighborhood, do you want to go to my Goodwill? So, of course, we did. So let's see what I got. Oh, I hear something making noise. I just thought this was cute. This is probably going to go on whatnot. A few of these things are going to go on whatnot. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Babe? <gasps> With his little fuzzy head? I thought that was adorable. Little piggy. And then I got this guy. A little pot with the froggies. Now, it's not signed. I was hoping it was one of the signed ones, but it's not. It's still fun. Who doesn't love little frogs holding your pot up? So there's him. And then, oh my gosh, I got like a whole bin of, this is all threads for jewelry making. Yeah, I'll show you why. Because look at this. This is all beads for jewelry making. And I kind of know someone that I think might get this from me. Another thing of all beads. All the seed beads. So I have a good friend that makes earrings and stuff. And I think 
this may be a little present to her, actually. And then look at him. It's a little corgi. Isn't he cute? And this is a Douglas the Cuddle toy. I never heard of them, but I just thought this was... Now, I'm not really into the stuffed animals that much. Like, I do. I can appreciate really cute ones, but they have to be really cute. This guy, he's really cute. Isn't he? Oh, my gosh. Little corgi. What about this one? This one is actually hand-knitted by little Francis. So somebody knits little animals and sells them in a shop, probably Etsy. And look at the little curly tail on the piggy. <laughs> okay. Then, you know me and my pillowcases. I don't know why I love them so much, but for some reason I do. Look at this pillowcase. Isn't that stunning? Look at that. That applique work. Just beautiful. These are in absolutely gorgeous, starched condition. Just beautiful. So for some reason, me and my pillowcase fantasy came true this weekend. I don't know what it is about pillowcases, but I love them. And then, so on whatnot on Mondays, I do something called Moo Moo Monday, well, it's getting to be chilly now, so I'm changing it to something with pajamas. I am looking for a good name. So if you have an interesting name for me to call my show on Whatnot on Mondays, please let me know down below. I would love to know. Just try to think of something clever. I do love alliteration, so I don't know if there's a mm, mm, Monday, mm, Monday. So anyway, I got myself... Because I also do gym, you know, gym jams on Tuesday. So I got myself a whole bunch of good gym jams. <laughs> Here, look at this. Nice little gym jams with the little shorts. Fabulous. This one may be a giveaway. We'll see. I don't know if I'm wearing it or giving it away. The Dalmatians. Cruella. Isn't that adorable? Who doesn't like the Disney stuff? Everybody likes Disney. I usually don't wear Disney stuff that much, you know, but I just thought that was really cute because I do love polka dots. And then I got this, which I couldn't believe was in there. A tapestry. A tapestry. Ready? It's a deer family. Well, there's the buck. And there's mama or baby. I don't know. No, I think that's baby because I think mom's over here on this side. Isn't that adorable? So we got a nice tapestry. And this thing, I'm going to tell you right now, five bucks. And then I got 40% off because it was senior day there for me. And for me, I get the... You normally, if you're a VIP, you get 20% off. On Wednesdays, if you're a senior, you get an additional 20. So I get 40% off. So, psh, okay. I'll take the tapestry for that. Not too chabby. Okay, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. And Sonny and I were laughing so hard. But I had to get it. I hope somebody else I hope somebody else thinks about thinks how funny these goofy things are beside me. Look at her eyes. She got eye line makeup on. <laughs> it's decent. <sighs> I know. I do you see what I'm saying? I buy ridiculous things sometimes. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's cheap. Oh, this is really nice. Did you guys ever hear of Cuddle Duds? So Cuddle Duds, I know that um, back east, they do like really beautiful fleecy um, 
long underwear and things like that because it's freezing cold. So you've got to wear like something underneath your clothing. Well, this is like a really nice robe. So I got this for myself with the hood and it is so soft. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yes, I'm going to have a beautiful array of pajamas to be wearing on my gym jam days on whatnot. And then I got this one. Sunny almost wanted to take this one, but I'm like, no. Look at that. It is, does it say Maui? Yeah, I think it says Maui. And if you look at the fabric, it's dolphins. Isn't that cool? So, yep. And the thing I like, it has a big pocket right down there. Put a little snack in there. <laughs> Remote something, right? And then I got these little vintage guys. <gasps> what does this say? Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't even notice this. Oh my gosh. I just saw something that I didn't notice before. These to me are vintage pajamas when they're made of this nylon, this silky satiny nylon. We're just going to take a look here because I bet he might not be. It might not be vintage, but can I show you this that I just noticed? Can you see that? Let me see if you can see that. Let me see if I can see that. It says happy. Oh, I love it. So this is going to be, I'm going to start doing uh, jammy giveaways on my Tuesdays because Moo Moo Monday is going to disappear. So we're going to start doing giveaway fun gym jams on Tuesday. And that's what I got this little guy for because there's no way in heck I'm fitting into that guy. So some person is going to be lucky and get happy. Isn't that great? I love it. Okay. Two more to go and then we're done. We're done, kids. Well, actually, we're not done, but two more to go. This is from my lovely, lovely friend, Mr. Ron Talls R on whatnot. He's part of the two guys and a gal just like Gumby is and just like vintage Zinnia from him. Now he has an antique, um, shop in where he's in Wisconsin. I believe he's in Wisconsin, right? My friend, pretty sure he's in Wisconsin. Yeah. So he's got some really spectacular items. Ooh. These, unfortunately, are for me. Oh, he taped. He taped. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Are you ready for this? Look at her. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. Oh, oh, she's a beauty. All of her fingers, her eyelashes are intact. Her ribbon, she's marked, but oh. I love her. I love her. She's absolutely beautiful. She's going in my head base case. Oh, she is stunning. Stunning. I have to make sure I let them know that I received her safe, safely. Oh, okay. Sorry. We got some. I'm trying to not have this too close to the microphone. I should have unwrapped this beforehand, but... You know what? I didn't know it was in half the boxes. 
Do you guys collect stuff? And if you do, what do you collect? Does anybody else like lady head vases like me? I would love to see pictures. I would love to see pictures of your lady head vases. Oh yeah, this one is pretty too. Oh, she's a doll. Oh my gosh. Now, the only thing on her, she does have a few little issues. Small issues that can be fixed. Like, what else did I see? That's good. I think one of her leaves are missing over here. She does have some crackle on her face and her lip paint is messed up. But look at her anyway. She's got her necklace. Her earrings are intact. She's a beauty. She's an anarcho, 1961. Beauty. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Those are my favorites. Those are my favorite things. I can't lie. <sighs> you got to look at her one more time. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? And I didn't even realize she's polka dotted. I love polka dots. Okay. We've got one last box. One more. Oh, no, wait. Oops, I forgot. There's one more thing from Goodwill. <laughs> I got this. Let me see. I was kind of excited about this. I mean, it's not the most exciting thing I've seen, but it's Department 56. And it's like a little snow set. I think you can never go wrong with Department 56, ever. You can never go wrong with those items. I think you could do pretty well with them all the time. It's the quality of their things. Okay. Last box. Now this, this is from my lovely friend, Erica. And I feel terrible because it has taken me so long to get to this box. I'm sorry, Erica, my love. So Erica is Think Pink Vintage. She's also on Whatnot. She also has an eBay store. This girl, she, man, she knows how to kick butt. Like, I, she, I wish I could be as good as her. I wish I could be as good as her doing the stuff that, that she does. Oh, I know that's for Rebecca. I wish. I wish. Because she is so, she's so organized. She, oh. She's just so good. She is like the thrifting. Like she, I can't believe the stuff that she finds blows my mind every time. She finds the most amazing Barbies. She finds the most amazing ephemera. She finds the most, oh my gosh, you girl. <laughs> I'm just going to show you. It's a whole bag of like Barbie miniatures and all kinds of little fun mini things, purses and all kinds. Oh my gosh. I love, I love, you know, I love miniature stuff too. I love what I love everything. Oh, I love lamp. I love rug. That's what I feel like. I'm from Ron Burgundy, the, the, what a anchor man. I'm the new person that loves everything. Apparently. <laughs> Ooh, she got that little stinker. Some mermaid stickers. Look at that in a sticker book. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so fun. She is so cute. Gosh dang it, Erica. Oh. And circus, because she knows I love the circus. Oh, she's a, she's a doll. She's a doll. Girl, I'm sorry this took me so long. So long. But here we are right now, girl. Here we are right now, girl. 
she wraps everything so beautifully too. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, look at this. Let me. Oh, it's sun, moon, and star stuff, which I also enjoy. You know what? I just like everything. <laughs> I guess I don't know what to say. Oh, this goes over here. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold the phone. That's really cool. I do like things like this. Look at that. That's pretty. Wow. That's really pretty. Very fun. This girl, she's like the ultimate gift giving person. She knows people she knows things look at how cute she's got a little mermaid on there for me and this is how she wraps her stuff she makes it so beautiful like ah i hear something clunking around in here Ooh, oh how cute Oh, she's got a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Canada, my friends. She knows I love my Canadians. And then New York. I love it. And what is this book? <gasps> Bobsy Twins. Fabulous. And then this is just a little something. This is what I have to This girl. I need to be so talented, I think. Look at that. Little sun and moon trinket box. That is beautiful. That's going to go over here on my table right immediately. Right now I'm putting it on there immediately. If not, well, as soon as I close it. There we go. Beautiful. And one more thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at the 45 of Dancing in the Street. And, of course, I've got a record player. I do have a record player. So, oh, you little stinker, you. All right, let's see what this is. Man, I don't know how she makes the most perfect bows, too. I can't even imagine what this is. guys fashion frames bathing suits certificate of authenticity your beautiful limited edition fashion frames bathing suit barbie fashion oh my gosh i love it oh where did you ever find this she knows i love my barbies oh my gosh erica you are a friend your sweetheart so that's it for the stuff for right now. Whew. That was pretty good. What was your favorite thing? And again, what do you collect? And do you collect lady heads? And if you do, please do share and show me because I would love to see it. So this week should be pretty fun. I'm hoping to hook up with Mikey Bags of Money at some point this week. I am going to be hanging with my good friend Tiffany, thrifting Vegas this week. We're going to do a little lunch and a little thrifting together. She's uh, a perfect person to help mentor me through these lovely YouTube videos. I'm looking for her to give me some tips. So that will be amazing. Besides the boys, the boys always do are very lovely and they always help me get some of my, get some tips and, you know, tricks of the trades and all different things, you know. So anyway, let me see what else is going on here. Not much. We made our plans. We're going to Buffalo for Christmas to go see Joni and my kids. And my son Dustin is coming with us. He's the one that lives here with me. So I'll have all the kids together back in Buffalo, which will be fabulous. 
I can't wait for that for Christmas. And that's literally about it. That all I, that's all I have. So anyway, lovely to see you guys again. Please take care. Loving kisses to all of you. And I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week. We'll see you next time, okay?